Welcome to TechSibo.com. This is part 34 of creating responsive website with ASP.NET and Bootstrap. If you haven't watched the previous videos, either you watch the video or download the project files, links in the description. In this video, I am going to fix a bug from our last video. The error occurred in the payment page, where the purchase date is invalid and the query is failed to insert the purchase. So let's make some changes to the code. Open payment page and expand button click event. Delete date of purchase variable and add SQL get date function. This will solve our issue. So in this video I am going to show you how to handle Paytm response after a successful or failed transaction. In this we need a callback URL. Create a new web form. Copy the URL of callback page. Change callback URL to our page. Now run the page, and make a test payment. Now you can see that after successful payment, it's not redirecting to our callback URL. So in order to resolve this issue, I contacted the Paytm support team. Payments.onboarding at paytm.com After few email conversation they activated the dynamic callback URL for my YAM ID. Also we need to change website parameter according to their suggestion. Now let's test our application with the new changes. Log in with test credentials that Paytm provided you. After successful payment it's now redirected to the callback URL that we are provided. After days of waiting we got the payment successful with the help of Paytm team. So now we need to manage the response from the Paytm. So in the page load event of callback page. We need to fetch the data from the form that are posted by the Paytm. Back to Paytm GitHub page, copy and paste the code snippet to get the parameters. Add Paytm reference. Replace merchant key that are used in payment page. Now let's test the application. Now the verification of checksum is success. After that we need to show confirmation message about the status of payment, as per Paytm documentation there are three types of status. TXN underscore success. TXN underscore failure. Pending. 
So let's extract the status parameter value to a string and display messages based on the three status. Now let's run the application. Yes, it's worked. We handled the payment response. Now let's add some style to our callback page. We can use Jumbotron to show our response messages. We can bind our messages to this H1 tag. Also create a home button to redirect after payment confirmation. Now add bootstrap references, in order to work the Jumbotron. Now let's test for a successful transaction. It's working fine. Now let's test with a failed transaction too. Everything works as we expected. Also for the payment reference it's a good practice to bind the transaction ID to the user. So bind transaction ID to a paragraph tag. That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up, it helps our channel a lot, thank you.